Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Steve from Rockstar Eater coming to you with another rockin' episode. And today I'm out here in LA, somewhere in West LA. I don't really know, but I am here for good reason because I'm gonna be trying Australian meat pies again. As some of you know, a few months ago, I had Australian food for the first time trying meat pies and I really loved it. So today I'm gonna be trying Australian food for the second time. And hopefully it's gonna be just as good, if not better. I'm here at Bronzed Aussie, which is one of the highest rated meat pie shops in LA. They specialize in authentic Australian meat pies that I knew I had to check out. So if you guys wanna see what Australian food looks like in Los Angeles, especially the meat pies, you've come to the right episode. So stick all the way to the end so that you can see the lowdown on these amazing meat pies here in Los Angeles. And also if you're new to this channel, take a moment right now to hit that subscribe button as well as the notification bell because I post these food and travel videos weekly you don't wanna miss out on. So go ahead, do that right now. And it's about time to get some of those meat pies right in front of me. So Bronze Dazi isn't actually a brick and mortar restaurant where you come here, you do dine in, it's not like that. It's, it's what you call a ghost kitchen in which there are different restaurants operating, making stuff from the morning time to basically get stuff out to you. And Bronze Dazi is one of the operations that's going on here in the kitchen. They have a few other really awesome things going on in here as well, so I definitely need to come back for a future episode to check this out. But yeah, the, these meat pies already look so fabulous and they're already baking some of it and they have it ready to go for me. So Andrea, we have like about 10 right here, right? Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, you have a lot of eating to do. So I thought we'll start this way and go down. And these are our chicken pies. So we have two different versions of the chicken um, pies. This one is our chicken Thai curry. Uh -huh. You're welcome to open it up like a little present and take a look at it. Wow. Um, the chicken Thai curry has just a little spice to it, real fresh, jalapeno, cilantro, coconut milk. Oh. And then this is probably the original, the chicken bacon mushroom. Okay, yeah, and I love the way that they package this. This, uh, this is really unexpected because usually I thought they would come like in one of those boxes. Yeah, we used to. Before COVID, we used to serve them in the, in the boxes. Yeah. But then this became very user friendly and COVID friendly and then we kept it. We like it. Wow, absolutely. So and then everyone knows what they're eating. <laughs> well, let's go ahead. I'm, I'm excited to try this. Mmm. <laughs> Give you a minute to digest that. Oh. Okay, so the first thing I'm thinking right now is like the deliciousness, the crustiness of this a pastry on the top. And then immediately I notice the Thai flavor of the curry inside. It takes me back to eating at a Thai restaurant nice. right now. Yeah, that one honestly, you started with one of my personal favorites. Yeah. I, I love that one. Oh wow. Now that's the chicken bacon mushroom. So you're gonna get a whole different sensation. It has a smoked bacon, mushroom, chicken breast, and a bechamel sauce. Wow. You can see how flaky they are on his lips. <laughs> yeah, it's no joke. The pastry, yeah, the pastry's flaky. Here. It's almost like having, you know, like the milk mustache around here. Yeah. Your... It's yeah. a sign that you've had a good Aussie pie. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, so the crust, just as good as the last one, you know, that same uh, crispiness and flakiness, freshness to it. But then inside, you have that bechamel sauce you said, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Mushroom and big chunks of chicken in there as well. I can't take credit for the recipes, but just for making them delicious still. Mm -hmm. uh, Samantha, who is our founder, who uh, had the brick and mortar downtown for seven years, uh, obviously uh, made these perfect and then bestowed it upon me to continue that. but. Explain to me, I'm not an Aussie clearly, um, that the Aussies, the high shops, they have the same pies for as long as they're around. Uh -huh. So if you grow up as a kid having this pie, you can go back as a grown up later on and go back for that same childhood memory mm -hmm. and order that same pie. Wow. So that's kind of one of the special things about pie shops is that they, they don't really change the recipes. I mean, I'm sure some of the newer avant-garde, whatever, they're coming mm -hmm. up with fancy, but you can have a classic menu and you stick with it. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> the steak pie is different um, than the ground beef. This one is more of a chunky beef, uh -huh. as Aussies will call it. Yes. And so it has a little thicker gravy <laughs> and a chunkier beef. Now that one we just call steak. And then we'll see the pepper steak is a little different as it has a more cracked pepper. So if you like that little extra pepper flavor. So. Whoa. Hmm? 
That is so savory. <laughs> yeah. That, that's a real rich sauce. Mm. Lots of flavor. It's like, you know what it's like eating? Okay, so the top, same delicious crispiness. Inside, you feel like you're eating like a beef stew, kind of. Yeah. So this is the pepper steak. This is the steak. pepper steak. Pepper so steak pie. So the difference is, it's the same pie, but we put cracked pepper on it, so you're gonna have a little different sensation with the with the pepper on the top. Mm. Mm -hmm. You know what this tastes like? It's like on your steak or beef stew, just add some of that that pepper on top of it to give it that kick, you know what I'm saying? There you go. Oh, wow. So, <laughs> yeah, there's still more of these. You're not done yet. I'm not done yet, but it's okay. I'm happy that I'm still continuing because I got a lot more room in my stomach. Excellent. So. Good. Okay. Well, you'll show me. We'll see. Um, this is our ground beef pie, Steve. This is the original pie. This is um, very simple, nice, really fine um, uh, ground ground beef. So give it a shot. All right. <laughs> I love how you bite in with such passion. You have to bite into it with passion because otherwise you're only going to taste the crust on the outside. <laughs> Good point. Touche. All the treasure is inside. Yeah. Oh, this is beautiful. How's that? It's good. So this is more for if you like ground meat. Yeah. yeah. It's just uh, it's it's just uh, it's simple. It's simple and delicious. It's less complex, but so much flavor still. So this one is our lamb pie. Um, now this one you're going to get a whole different experience because it has vegetables in it and potatoes, so it's going to be more like a stew, and it's got a Madeira sauce. Mm. Okay. <laughs> is that a piece of rosemary on top? That is. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, definitely the rosemary. Mm. It smells good and tastes so good too. So inside, okay, it kind of tastes similar in the to the beef in the sense that you get the chunky pieces mm -hmm. of meat in there. Yep, but inside, the there is like a whole party of vegetables going on. Got some peas and uh, did you say potatoes were inside mm -hmm. too? Yep, peas, uh, carrots, and potatoes. Mm, peas. So it's like mom stew in a pie. Okay, so what was this one? So that's our vegan ratatouille. So we uh, we feed the vegans, and actually all the puff pastry is vegan. Mm -hmm. So um, that helps. We can all use all the same puff pastry. And this one is a ratatouille, so it's made with a zucchini and bell pepper and onions. I don't remember when was the last time I had a ratatouille. Uh, I don't even remember if I had it before. I, the first time I've heard about it was through that Pixar movie, <laughs> Ratatouille, which is kind of a long time ago. But uh, I mean, I haven't had the proper form of it yet, but at least I can try it in the... This is gonna be it. Okay, uh, this the meat is pie. A, the premiere try. Yes. Yeah, so it's just a nice big blend of yummy veggies. Absolutely. This to me is like a really ideal vegetarian, I can't say meat pie, but vegetarian pie. Yeah, well, I mean, vegans and vegetarians, those should be allowed comfort food too, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, you see? <laughs> Can't leave them out. Oh, no. No, I mean, honestly, even if I didn't have the meat pies, this itself is so good that I can just come back and just get this one. There you go. No, I'm serious, I could. Good. Yeah. So um, this is our final vegan option. This is a uh, vegan tofu curry. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it has tofu, obviously, um, peas, curry, and um, we do put a little curry on the top there to bring out the flavor. Mm. All right, cheers, mate. Here we go. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> good day. And you know what? This one is so good too because mm, I love the smell of the curry. That's what I was gonna say. The curry. Yeah, I took it. <laughs> so spinach and fed roll. Yes. So this would be for our vegetarians mm -hmm. or meat eaters alike. But uh, has a spinach, a little ricotta, a little feta. Wow, um, this is like you know why this one is so good because it's like long. Mm -hmm. You can put so much <laughs> of it in your mouth. It's easier to bite. Absolutely. Oh man. Mm -hmm. Well, that's what I was. Uh, I was about to tell you is that this is our nor our regular size rolls, mm -hmm. and the pies that you ate are our party size. So we make the pies bigger, and then we also make these ones smaller. Depending, we have a lot of people that order them for well, events. So uh, depending if you're eating them personally or whatnot, we can alter the size. Okay, got it. So but that's our regular size. So you always got to get a sausage roll with your pie. Yes, <laughs> I've had this last time. I remember <laughs> you that. Did. We make the sausage here in house. It has a uh, fresh rosemary. Um, give it a shot. Yes. Fine ground pork. Mmm. Mmm-hmm. 
I remember sausage rolls was like one of my favorite ones. It's so good. Yeah. Now this one, this one I would go with some ketchup. Yeah? Yeah. That hits the spot right there. <laughs> so the pastry itself tastes similar to like the meat pies. It's, yeah, it's, we use the same pastry. Mm -hmm. But now the meat is rolled up into it. Mm -hmm. And the meat is inside. So if you love sausages, then you're gonna love the sausage roll. And this is something I think if you're in, being introduced to Australian meat pies, you should try this as a starter, right? The sausage roll? Yeah, you should get one pie and one sausage roll minimum. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Everybody in Australia knows about the sausage rolls. Absolutely. <laughs> wow, that's a lot of food. Yeah, so I, all those meat pies can add up after a while, but I'm not done yet because you do have I have some... one more thing for you, Steve. Oh. I wanted to make you a pavlova. Next time, we'll have to bring him back for another. But this is another very traditional classic called the lambington. So if there's a sponge cake on the inside, and we hand roll it with uh, dark chocolate, and then it's rolled in desiccated coconut. Mm. <laughs> wow. That's like the perfect way to end off this meal. <laughs> I love the fact that it's so spongy inside. Mm -hmm. It's like a cake. Mm -hmm. So you're basically eating a cake that has all of this chocolate coated all around it with coconut shavings. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so if you guys are not into coconut, then maybe this is something you might want to skip, but if you're okay with coconut, this is really good. Because coconut, chocolate fans, and cake fans, you get all of that combined Everything. in this. Everything. Everything. So if you guys are here in the Pico Robertson area, it is kind of easy to miss if you're driving, but remember that, bronzed Ozzy, you come here, you're gonna find some of the best meat pies in LA. And meat pies, Australian version, is very hard to find in Los Angeles. But thankfully, this is a place that makes it so, so good. I can't des describe it enough and give it enough praise. So if you're in this area, just come on by, look out for Andrea, tell her you saw the episode. Or Todd. She's, or Todd, yeah. <laughs> And they're gonna take really good care of you. And I heard that you got some yes. sort of promo thing going on. <laughs> well, this is our little card. I don't know if you can zoom in on the promo on mm -hmm. the on the yep. QR code, but if you go to kitchen1437.com, you can put your order in. And at the very end, there'll be a promo code uh, option. You put in first 20 and you'll get 20% off of your first order. So we would love to treat you guys to, to that discount to come by and, and try. And um, you can order them frozen or hot. Just let us know um, when you order on the website in advance. And we do recommend ordering in advance. I had them ready for Steve when he got here, but we bake them to order. So they do take about 20, 25 minutes. Yeah. Yeah, so don't so please order in advance so that you can get it really fresh, piping hot, right when you come here and you do want to eat these hot. <laughs> <laughs> so anyways, thank you so much for watching this episode of Rockstar Eater. If you enjoy what I'm doing here on the show, you know the drill. Give me a thumbs up if you like this episode. Comment on the section below because if you've been to the spot before, I'd love to hear your story. And also please subscribe so you can get more of these awesome food and travel videos weekly. Well, I hope you have a rocking day today, folks, and that you'll try some of this awesome meat pies sometime soon in the <laughs> Lamington. And be sure to also check out the other videos on my screen so they can see, like I said, some of the other food adventures around town. So for me and Andrea, goodbye. Goodbye. Good day, mate. <laughs>